All right, so this is part two of my FSU and Miami video. So why should Florida State and Miami be rooting for each other until we play each other? Simple. For the simple fact that when we go against the non-conferences of the ACC, we know damn well Miami was brought into the ACC in 2004 to basically be the rival to Florida State. And the hope was to be able to increase the revenue of the ACC and the perception of the ACC because it's historically been very weak and currently still weak that if Florida State Miami ascend to the top of football and keep that prestige, then the ACC will have, they can rival the SEC because let's face it, we're in the same region and this is who our competitor is. But the reality is Florida State and Miami have been down uh, since 2004 and Florida State has won a championship. Yes, Miami had a little wins here and there, but for Miami has not won an ACC championship since they joined the conference. And the reality is you cannot hold stability like you used to in the 80s and 90s when recruiting was totally different. You know, money was always a factor, but they didn't have mega conferences back in the 80s and 90s. So Florida State Miami was able to capitalize off of in-state talent. Now that you got players getting paid and mega conferences and conferences getting more money and network deals, like all that's coming into play in recent years, players are leaving the state of Florida and going to other conferences. So now their rosters are kind of looking like what we used to have because we're not keeping all that elite home talent in state anymore. Now, people are going to say, yeah, but you recruit players from other states that are elite. We're not recruiting at the level we used to. I don't care if we get an individual talent from another state. We used to have a whole depth. I remember back in the 80s, Miami's second string would beat most college teams' first string, and the same with Florida State in the 90s. So my whole point is, FSU and Miami fans, sit back and think before you start throwing up the U, uh, tomahawk chopping, sit back and look at the business of what's going on behind the scenes and ask yourself, why do you not chant ACC as much as these SEC fans? Because you know damn well the football is not the priority. The basketball is priority. And when you want to be real about it, ACC prioritizes Duke and North Carolina basketball over Florida State and Miami's brand. They don't give a damn about what we do. If Clemson wins, they don't care either. Clemson, you're going through the same thing. But unfortunately, Clemson's prestige historically hasn't been what Florida State and Miami's prestige has. They had some good times back in the 80s, but Florida State and Miami's brand has been bigger. Recently, the last six years, Clemson has been bigger. But historically, since I was a kid, Florida State and Miami, we were doing the damn thing for like 20 years. So in conclusion, if Florida State and Miami come to the top, if we, if we were still independent, I believe our brands would be so big, we would not need the ACC. We can join the ACC in all sports but football and be better than what Notre Dame is as an independent. But too little, too late. So we got to win now. And it takes both to win for the conference to come up.